Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, we will understand what is an oscillator and we will understand the Barkhausen criteria. Oscillator is very important electronic device. It is a very important electronic device. It generates oscillations of a particular frequency and this oscillation should be undamped oscillation or it should be sustained oscillation. So, it will produce oscillations of particular frequency and it should be sustained oscillation. The applications of oscillator is it is used to generate uh, clock signals for some electronic circuits and it is also used in audio and radio frequencies. Before understanding the oscillator, let us consider an amplifier circuit with a feedback. So, input to the amplifier is V in. So, some portion of output signal is fed back to the feedback circuit and output of the feedback circuit is given as the input to the amplifier. So, V naught is the output of the amplifier. So, V f which is feedback voltage is the output of the feedback circuit. So, V naught can be written as A V in. Now, let us write the equation for V f. So, V f will be equal to beta times. So, input to this feedback is V naught. So, it will be V naught. Now, we know V naught is equal to A V in. So, we can substitute in this equation. So, it will become V f is equal to A beta into V in. So, this A beta is known as uh, the loop gain loop gain it is very important in producing the oscillations so a beta is very important in producing the oscillations now let us see what is the importance of a beta in producing the sustained oscillations if we consider a beta as less than 1 if a beta is less than 1 let us take an example where uh, a beta is equal to 0 0.99 which is less than 1 and let us say v in was initially 2 volts at that case v f will be equal to 0 0.99 into 2 volts which is equal to 1.98 volts which means you can see if uh, a beta is less than 1, the feedback voltage is reducing. If V f is reducing, then V naught will also reduce because V f is the feedback to the amplifier circuit. So, for this condition, we will get the oscillation which is damped oscillation. So, the oscillation continuously reduces and become 0. So, this is damped oscillation. Now, if A beta is greater than 1, for example, if we take A beta as 1.1 and input voltage as 2 volts. So, at that case, V f is equal to using this equation, we can write 1.1 into 2, which is equal to 2.2 volts. So, as you can see here, V f is increasing so, if V f is increasing, V naught will also increase. For this case, we will get an oscillation which is gradually increasing. So, from these two condition, we can easily understand that A beta is very important in generating the oscillations. So, to get a constant oscillation or sustained oscillations, we should make a beta as 1. If we make A beta as 1, we will get sustained oscillation. The oscillations will be constant. So, if we make A beta as 1, we will get a sustained oscillation we will call this as undamped oscillation. In sustained oscillation, amplitude will remain 
constant. Now let us see the Barkhausen criteria. Barkhausen criteria explain two condition to get the sustained oscillation. The first condition is A beta should be equal to 1. So, which means the loop gain should be equal to 1, the overall gain should be equal to 1 and the second condition is the phase difference between input and output should be equal to 0 degree. So, the phase difference should be equal to 0 degree or it should be equal to 360 degree. So, it should be equal to 0 degree or 360 degree to get sustained oscillation at the output. Now, we will see the working of practical oscillator. So, one thing you need to remember is that the oscillator does not have any input connected to it, it will work without any input signal. So, which means even for V in is equal to 0, the oscillators will produce the oscillations. Now, we will see how the oscillator will produce output without giving any input. The first condition for oscillator is it should satisfy the Barkhausen criteria which means it should satisfy A beta is equal to 1 and also it should satisfy the condition the phase difference between the input and output should be equal to 0 degree or 360 degree. In oscillator circuit thermal noise will act as input thermal noise will act as input. So, initially A beta is made greater than 1. So, this will help the thermal noise to build over a time. Once the required amplitude is achieved A beta will be made as 1. So, initially A beta is kept greater than 1. So, at that case the thermal noise will increase. Once the required amplitude is reached A beta is made 1. So, at that case we will get the sustained oscillations. So, from here we will get the sustained oscillations. So, up to here A beta is greater than 1. So, from this point, so here it will be A beta will be will be equal to 1. Mathematically, we can derive the Barkhausen criteria. From this circuit, we can write V naught is equal to A into V f plus V in. So, we can write V f plus V in, but V f is equal to beta V naught. So, substituting in the above equation, we will get V naught is equal to A into beta V naught plus V in. V naught is equal to A beta V naught plus A V in. So, we can simplify this equation and write V naught minus A beta V naught will be equal to A V in. So, we can take V naught common from this term. So, it will be 1 minus A beta will be equal to A V in. We know for oscillators V naught will be equal to 0. So, for this condition we can write 1 minus A beta is equal to 0. So, from this we can write it as A beta is equal to 1 which is Barkhausen criteria. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.